Jim's with what we need to know. Welcome back to Bloom. Jim, it's great to see you. Hi, Gail. Thank you for having us back. So a lot of folks, they, of course, know how to drive a car or will eventually learn how to, but driving a boat, is that the same? Well, it looks like it's the same, but it's actually not. Uh, boats don't have brakes, and car, cars do. Uh, boats don't travel in lanes that are marked clearly on a roadway like cars do, and there certainly aren't any traffic lights out on the waterway. So while there's a steering wheel and it looks like uh, it could be a, you know, as easy as driving a car, it really isn't. It's something that I think takes a little bit of training and that uh, new boaters especially should take time to learn how to operate your boat safely. So what are some of the most important boating rules for staying safe on the waterways? Well, number one, boaters should wear life jackets. Uh, life jackets are the single most important thing that boaters can do to reduce risk and to reduce fatalities on the water. In fact, um, of those that drown, of those that died by a uh, boating accident, 83% of them were not wearing a life jacket. Uh, so think about that for a minute. If they were wearing a life jacket, a huge number of people that were involved in fatalities, could, lives could be saved. The second thing is to avoid alcohol. Um, alcohol is the leading known contributing factor to boating accidents. And, and when boaters take boats out, I know alcohol seems like it's a part of the day out on the water, but we always encourage boaters to take uh, someone out as the sober skipper. One person that will stay behind or, or stay sober on the boat and, and be sure to bring everybody back. And then the third thing is wear your ecos, your engine cutoff switch lanyard, um, it's super important. It's a new law that went into effect April 1st. And then one last bonus tip is I just would encourage all boaters to take a boater safety course. You never know what you don't know until you take a boater safety course. And they're they're free and easy. That, that, that's good to hear. Um, you know, a, a lot of folks um, are going to be out on the waterways this Labor Day. What are some of the most common mistakes that boaters make? Well, like I said, um, not wearing life jackets is number one. Um, it's, it's just never been a custom, a customary practice. But um, the other things that are, that are common out there are um, improper lookout. You know, when we look at the Coast Guard stat, uh, statistics each year uh, on boating safety, um, boating accidents that occurred in the previous year, um, improper lookout is one of the most, um, is one of the leading uh, causes or contributing factors to to a boating incident. So I would say that it's important that the captain's always looking out and that when, when I'm on a boat, I make sure that I designate every, all of my crew to be a, a lookout. Everyone should be looking out in every direction. Uh, another thing is, you know, um, here we are in the summer, it's a great time to be out at night. Uh, boating after dark can be um, tricky. So I would just recommend that if you're a new boater that you, you get some tips about boating after dark. Um, and then of course, the other thing I mentioned was the engine cutoff switch and taking a boater safety course. Those are really the tenets of, of recreational boating safety. Uh, we have uh, just seconds left, but I did want to ask, where can people get boater safety training? Well, you can come to the watersportsfoundation.com website, and then on our media center, you'll find there's a list of just about every boating safety course provider in the United States. The one I, I really like to promote a lot is the Boat US Foundation. Uh, they, have, um, they have a course that's customized to each state for each state's local laws and it's it's a free course i think they ask for a ten dollar donation but it's virtually free and it's really easy and you'd be surprised at what you learn all right thank you so much jim it's been great connecting with you thank you gail and i'll connect you with jim on our website wfla.com bloom bloom we'll be right back